Welcome back guys, strap in for the adventure of a lifetime. We'll be exploring the east coast of Australia, both overland and underwater. Well, not quite yet. First, we need to turn the cheapest SUV we could find on Facebook Marketplace into the adventure wagon and home base of our dreams, while sticking to a tight budget and only having a few days to build. You have never seen a vehicle conversion like this before. Hopefully buying a car today. Hopefully. The rental car, you've served us well, but it's time to get our own set of wheels. In case you missed our last video, we spent the week living in a rental car, scaring Marketplace for a perfect vehicle to hit the road in. And finally, I think we have found down, one. <laughs> We're moving from one car. So we got this car for other. literally dirt cheap, knowing that it would need a bit of a tune-up at the mechanic. We just bought a car. Let's see if she starts. <gasps> Woo! We're off to the mechanic now to determine exactly what's wrong with her Which and how nothing much. Just nothing because she's perfect. She's she's sexy, but she's got some problems internally. No. So we're gonna go figure out what's uh, what's wrong with her and how much it's gonna cost us. <laughs> We were lucky enough to stay in the garage for a few days while our girl oh, was in the shop. We upgraded from a, a rental car to a <laughs> garage. So. We bought a car. We bought a car. That's the important part. It's getting some love. It's getting some love. By Steve, and absolute <laughs> Steve, legend. <laughs> our man. And uh, yeah, we're currently living in Steve's garage. garage. That's fine. It's all part of the journey. Yeah. Someday we'll be on the road. <laughs> Not today. Soon. Soon. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. What are you doing? I'm blowing up our home. It looks a lot bigger when it's actually in the car. Day two at Steve's Garage. Fueling up. Day two at, uh, at Steve's. Hoping to get the rest of the repairs done today and then we should be able to hit the road tonight within the next week. Finally, we got her back from the shop and immediately got to work on a basic conversion. We started with a dual battery setup from King's for a fridge and took some measurements for our bed platform. Okay, so this is the mock up, the mock height. And of course, we Fuel. needed some bunning sausages oh, for getting fuel. There. Getting there. So, I think we might be laying a little too high like this. The most important thing we need to figure out is what's going to be the most comfortable and functional. And do we give up comfort for function or if we go for comfort with less function? Even in the middle. Today, we've accomplished Oh, we, we did accomplish one thing. Yeah, we accomplished a lot today. We bought our whole battery setup. Yep, we figured that out. We have our we have a plan for our fridge, yep. which we do not have yet. So <laughs> step one, we have the battery done. Battery done, yep. Step two is making a sort of like build, some sort of simple structure that we can put a mattress on. Budget build. Budget build, Why and not? then and then we can put the fridge in. Yep. And all that stuff. Simplicity so. is key. It is, yeah. yeah we're ready we're for pretty it. much ready to hit the road by the end of the month. First night in the old girl. Welcome to our home. Come take a look inside. Wow. Ooh la la. We have a bed and everything. This is really what our mornings look like, rearranging the car and finding a picnic table to make some breakfast and start the day. Mm -hmm. 
So the goal for today is to start gathering materials and a few basic tools that will help us get the job done. We've got two. The bed frame. Not only is this a blow up mattress, it's also a blow out mattress. <laughs> we don't need to build, this is perfect. We're in the parking lot of Bunnings. Again. Again. So we're going to make an attempt at building um, the first part of our bed platform. Colton has gone very much into depth about how to do this uh, functionally. Minimalistic. Minimalistic, yeah. And so very affordable, easy, hopefully. Uh, so, yeah. Now, if we measure correctly, which. <laughs> hopefully, we did. One of these pieces is going to fit perfectly square in here, which I think is this one. Let's see. So lots of uh, lots of room for bins, stoves, fridges, dive gear. Line up with this. Uh. The tools that we bought were honestly the cheapest piece of that you could buy. So we're just hoping that they hold up long enough to cut a few pieces of plywood. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ten minutes in Bunnings and a ten dollar saw. Ten and ten. Ten and ten. Ten dollar installation. Ten. Minute installation. Wow! We've completed phase one of the build, but we have to <laughs> we have to return to our parking lot because it's almost dark, and so we will return to this endeavor tomorrow. Let's go! Time for a swim. Time for a swim. One day to build this platform. This isn't the. This isn't going to be like the Instagram van build. Four. This is the four x four build that you make when you spend all your money on dive gear and beer, and you bought the cheapest SUV on Facebook Marketplace. Seven trip. A hat. <laughs> seven trips to Bunnings equals a seven dollar Bunnings hat. <laughs> Question is, did we just ruin a hundred dollar piece of plywood? Ooh. Yeah, do it over. As you can see from the uh, we have down here, it was a bit of a, a struggle to get <laughs> completely right, but look at her! It's cute! She's so cute! We wanted this build to be super simple and easy to remove for both ourselves and future owners of our car. So we made the platform in two sections. The braces all look like that. So you can remove the front part and put the front seats back up and still have the back part of the platform. So we got the platform together and then just the base for the support. Now we're just gonna get some turnbuckles and put it together. So we chose pipe fittings for support instead of the traditional box type structure because they're super easy to detach and customize. So if we need to move the placements around, uh, it's really simple to do that. All right, moment of truth. Mattress. Oh, 
Actually, this is quite nice. There we go. Ugh. Yeah? I like it. You think it'll hold? I think it'll hold. Right. We're calling it for today. <laughs> we got a lot done today, but we're gassed. Team, we Team. killed it. We killed it. I sanded. <laughs> But yeah, we have a structure now and we don't have to pile everything in the front seat, which is good. So <laughs> we'll come back again. We'll get it looking nice and pretty, but we're going to call it for right now. Since we're almost finished building, we decided to say goodbye to St. Kilda and move closer to the Great Ocean Road so we could get on the road as soon as we are ready. Just picked up our new fridge. Let's see what it fits. She's gonna be on a slider. Oh yeah. We've got everything in our duffels, including our dive gear. So the biggest task that we're gonna face is <laughs> kind of sorting everything out. Our dive gear has been in our duffels for about a month now, so that's not good. But we're gonna try to see if we can fit it all into a bin. One of the biggest struggles we faced was finding bins with large enough dimensions to fit the dive gear, but also slim enough to fit under the bed. Scuba gear, snorkelish kind of gear. Okay, so it's the last day of the build. Just tying up some loose ends, fixing up some storage. Colton's going to install an awning that we bought on Facebook Marketplace. It's all coming together. And then tomorrow, hopefully we can start our journey on the Great Ocean Road. She looks sick. So the kitchen stuff. What are you doing? I'm cutting rubber. We've had the car for a week and the build is 85% done, which is very impressive considering we've only had two days of real building. We're, We're getting good. close to being uh, where we want to be just full time, but I think this is how it goes is you're going to always want to just continue adding to yeah. what you've done. So you're never really done. Yeah, but yeah we, we are pretty functional right now and so We'll finish up the rest of like the little details later as we go, but now it's time to actually hit the Great Ocean Road. So tomorrow morning, we're getting on the road officially. Get some miles under. Getting Yeah, getting some kilometers under. And then we'll, uh, I'm sure, be back to Bunnings. Yep, we'll be back to Bunnings. <laughs> uh.